Hey everyone, we got a great video here. This is a true classic. Check this out. In this video, we are going to go back a few years. I am just outside of Wilmington, Ohio with a local farmer here that is out here drilling soybeans using his Alice Chalmers D17 two-wheel drive row crop tractor and an Oliver Superior grain drill taking a width of 7 feet per pass. I had a wonderful day here filming orange equipment. I'm going to have a bunch of Alice Chalmers, Deutz Alice, Eggco Alice videos coming up in the near future here all from this surrounding area and most of these guys all deal with mare farm equipment in fact this guy running this tractor that owns it actually works for mare farm equipment the alice chalmers d17 tractor was built in west alice wisconsin from 1957 to 1967 the tractor you see here is a 1963 at the end of production in 1967 this tractor would have sold for around five thousand four hundred dollars it looks like Alice Chalmers built almost 85,000 of the D17, and you could get these with three different engines. You could get a gasoline, a diesel, or an LP gas model. With the different options here, if you got this tractor in an LP gas or a gasoline version, that was powered with a four-cylinder engine, and the diesel version was actually a six-cylinder naturally aspirated. These tractors were around 63 horsepower. These tractors had a transmission that was a partial power shift power director with eight forward and two reverse speeds. This tractor had a top speed of 11.8 mile per hour. These tractors come with a 540 power takeoff shaft and a category two three point hitch. This tractor weighed in around 4,675 pounds. The Alice Chalmers D17 tractor had an open center hydraulic system. You could get these with one hydraulic remote that would put out about 10 gallons per minute, and these tractors operated around 2,000 PSI on the hydraulic side. This is not a real long video. I would have liked to got more footage of this tractor. Unfortunately, this farmer was about done planning when I got here, but you got to take what you can get. But it is nice to be out here in the field with this vintage stuff working, and I'm not at an antique farm show or nothing like that. This is the real deal. But I do have a couple on the ground shots of this, so we'll get to listen to this tractor and drill in action. And the next several clips you're going to see here is everything that I got to film while I was in this area. It was definitely a good day of filming for my YouTube channel while I was here. I will have future YouTube videos coming up of each and every one of these that you are about to see. And that's going to do it for this video if you did like this video please go down there and hit that like button feel free to comment below and if you're new to my youtube channel i would really appreciate it if you would go down there and hit that subscribe button 
And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, what I'm out filming, you can also follow me along on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thank you for watching and supporting my social media.